You know, one thing I really hope is that as scary as it is, as scary as it will be, I hope that Democrats don't vote out of fear, but rather vote out of conviction. And, you know, I, I see it within a lot of people in how they talk about Joe Biden. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand Joe Biden's very popular, and I understand why many people would vote for him in the primary. What I am a little concerned about is how many Democrats I've here saying, yeah, look, he seems a little out of touch, and it doesn't seem like he has a firm grasp on, like, the modern Democratic Party, but I think he's the only way we beat Trump. And it's like... Yeah, but, like, that's what people thought about Hillary as well. Do you know what I mean? And I think people have forgotten, and I understand why, because Trump is such a visceral assault on the senses. I think people have forgotten the power of voting for something as opposed to against something. You know? Like, if you're voting for Joe Biden. Go vote for Joe Biden. Be like, no, Joe Biden's my favorite person. I love what he represents. I love his, his records. He's this, he's... I love Joe... I'm voting for him. Don't be like, oh, I'm scared of losing to Trump, so I'm gonna pick Joe. No, no. Pick the person you think is the best. Go with that person. And then you go like, this is what represents the party. This is what represents the people. These are the policies. And then you go from there. It is a little scarier. But now, imagine losing and then going, ah, I didn't and I wasn't motivated and I didn't think and I... Did. Do, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like the people just like, just like vote for the thing. Because I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I have yet to meet a single Democratic candidate who is not better than Donald Trump. I'll be honest with you. I'm not even lying. It doesn't matter who. I have yet to meet one, one person where I've been like, oh, you, yeah, no, Trump is better. No, no. Donald Trump is like, like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Even, like, even in the debates around white supremacy, when people are like, oh, you're white supremacist, the fact that this is, like, a genuine conversation should stress people out. Do you know what I mean? The fact that you have to ask, is he a white supremacist? You know, and then people are like, is he, is he not? Is he? And then people are like, yeah, well, he's, maybe he says some things that inspire white supremacy. It's like, then stop saying it. <laughs> so then you have to ask yourself that question. Even if you live in a world where you go like, okay, fine, 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 fine. Let, let's, let's work with, like, the world as we see it, not assuming anything. Donald Trump says, I'm not a white supremacist. But as we've seen, white supremacists are very comfortable in taking what he says as it speaks to their agenda. Then the question is, Trump, why don't you stop saying the things that inspire the white supremacists? Then he's like, no, no, I, I, I don't... Then it's like, maybe then you don't mind inspiring white supremacists because your agenda is, in many ways, aligned to theirs. Like, maybe that's the thing. You ready?